In his book, Surely a Joking Mr. Feynman, physicist and Nobel laureate Richard Feynman narrates this story. When he was around 12 years old, Feynman got a reputation for fixing radios. Once, he was asked to fix a radio that made an ear-piercing noise when it was switched on. It took a few minutes before the music came on, but by then the noise had already ruined the listening experience. Feynman thought for a bit and figured that the valves in the radio were heating up in the wrong order. The amplifier valve was heating first and started making the crackling noise because the tuner valve had not heated yet. The static noise was getting amplified because the amplifier was not receiving any signal. Feynman swapped the valves. Now the tuner valve heated first and by the time the amplifier valve heated up, the radio was properly tuned into a channel. When switched on, there would be no harsh sounds. Instead, the radio would be silent for a few minutes and then it would start playing. Like the valves in the radio, we can think of humans having three life valves. To have, to do and to be valves. The to have valve or the desire valve leads us to want the next bigger car or the next bigger house. The to do valve spurs us to action and the to be valve guides self-introspection and self-awareness. Mostly, our to-have valve lights up first and makes us want more and more material possessions. This desire valve then leads to the heating up of the to-do valve and spurs us to action. We tell ourselves that once we have adequate material possessions, we will then fire up our to-be valve. We need to pause and consider if this sequence of life valves firing up to have, to do and to be, is it leading to a pleasant life in the long term or is it leading to an anxious, stressful experience like the noisy radio? Should we not shape our life such that the to be valve lights up first and we become more self-aware, more self-regulated and develop an internal locus of control? Would this not allow us to make more conscious and better choices? Choices that will guide our to have valve, to have without damaging the environment, to have without compromising the larger good. This will then fire up the to do valve and lead to action that is focused at realizing thought through choices that ensure our long term well being without harming other inhabitants of this planet or our environment. Think about these valves in the context of education. The to have valve in the context of education is learning to earn. Education we seek is usually not guided by our passion but by what will help us earn more. We need to pause and ask, why learn just to earn? Why earn? Why earn? Till we yearn to learn. That is, learn for the sheer joy of it. The to be valve in the context of education is yearning to learn. Once this yearning to learn valve fires up, we then not only earn, but keep learning till we are in the earn. Once we fire up our life valve in the right sequence, to be, to have and to do, we significantly enhance our long-term well-being and flourish.